Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology. So yesterday, I have shared the first part of the three-part series of step-by-step uh, -step development of the short strike Wing Chun body mechanics. And after that, I have received many messages from our Wing Chun friends. And in fact, uh, this first part of the three-part series uh, actually have attract a lot of people to watch it. And that's why I got more message. Now, the goal of the three-part video series of the uh, Soft Strike Wing Chun Body Mechanics is target or aim to restore the core of Wing Chun Queen. Yes, that is the goal. It is an education for everybody to restore the core of Wing Chun King. Now, one of the reasons why I do this video, which might cause a lot of uh, uh, controversy, is because I have uh, constantly communicate and sharing and chatting and discussing with many uh, traditional Chinese martial arts Sihu in Asia. And uh, we lately have discussed on the body mechanics. And this Sihus who I uh, discuss with are my senior and uh, they are in competitions before so they know what it is in the ring so the focus is in the body mechanics and thus we talk many things which uh, the modern sports science uh, is doing today including all this uh, gadgets and so forth and uh, that brought me to wanting to making this three-part series of video so that we be able to restore the core of Wing Chun and after you watch this three-part series you will know why most traditional Chinese martial arts with their magic techniques, magic power never can compete with modern martial arts, including MMA. You know exactly why it is. Okay? And also you know that in today's language, what is the ancient Chinese, traditional Chinese martial art is uh, uh, practicing, training, developing, and what is the Wing Chun ancestor in the Red Book prior to Liang Zhan, Grandmaster, is practicing. We want to take that from the Red Bull and map it in today's language so everybody know what it is, everybody can develop it. So there's an issue with Wing Chun. The issue is at the uprising when the uh, the, 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 the ancestor of the Wing Chun and the ancestor of the uh, Chui Le Fa, as we know now by evidence, meet in the Fine Jet Associations for anti ching Uprising. There's an issue there. The issue is the people prior to that have a training like I'm going to share with you. The people who come at that time of uprising do not have that training and by document okay and this is i want to quote you by document when i was in fatsan a few years ago the researcher told me that for the uprising often the 
follower of the anti qing is not well trained they can get in there train for two days and then they send them out into the the, 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 the uprising battlefield and so forth so then because of that you got a, a gap there between those who trained before and who trained at that time and of course after the uh, the, the the fail of the uh, or the loss of the uprising then Wing Chun continues to evolve the if we look at the history Choi Le Fat have a better handling because Choi Le Fat do not uh, spread away as Wing Chun does Wing Chun is after the uprising of the fine jade many many of our ancestors passed away and even Dr. Leong Chan you know that he go hiding okay you need to get up from the, the area and go hiding or else your family all gone wiped out by the Qing okay so after that Wing Chun evolved until today and so I'm saying this is not for blaming is for we need to recover what it is so that we can have a future if we don't have the the knowledge of what is going on we will not have a future that's for sure that is why I uh, uh, discuss with uh, many of uh, my, <coughs> my senior uh, traditional Chinese martial arts and and we come to this conclusion you in today's uh, uh, traditional Chinese martial art body mechanics development you practically cannot handle an MMA player which is uh, semi profession you don't have that training anymore okay so of course you know not every traditional Chinese martial art but most and most today you see that all this uh, technique magic techniques this this technique can anti the techniques and you always see in the seminar and so forth <coughs> the, the, the sifu will stand there with the, 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 the student or whoever join and say you see I can do this I can do this I can do this and then you talk to all this uh, beginner or people who is not pro and you look at the body mechanics of those sifu how many of them is really in the competitions before but the, 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 the propaganda is magic techniques, magic power. So after this three part series, you know exactly. If it's not follow this, you know it's not going to work. And this three part series, we map it in today's sports science, today's martial art training. So we know based on human being, of course you have Wing Chun characteristic but you based on human being not based on what my grandmaster say or what my lineage say and which is again a, break, a breakdown with whatever prior the wing, uh, uh, Red Book Wing Chun time okay so the part one I have shared with you guys before, uh, yesterday is about breathing you know, you know that in the, the Shaolin canon, short strike canon, or or, or the, uh, the, the 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 scripture is say that breathing. If you don't have breathing, you couldn't even handle your lower part of the body. How can you fight? So it's a, you need to have that breathing. You need to, the and the strength is for the breathing. The second part I I share with the rings and everything in the ancient training is. It is about warm up and stretching. So in today's words, the warm up is what? Increase blood flow to your working muscle. To increase blood flow to your, your, your working muscle. Because you want to do things gradually. Develop things gradually. So that is what it is, right? For the warm up. And it serves the purpose of stretching. And stretching is actually increased flexibility and joint range. 
of motion, flexibility, and the increase the joint range of the motion. Now, like in Wing Chun, we use the circle, the, the ring, and, and, and so forth to practice, as well as show you in other video. Right? That is with the Wing Chun short strike characteristic. That is not somebody else. That's not general. You have a breathing and warm up stretching is general term, but we present it in terms of the Wing Chun 1850. What, what it is like. That's why I brought the, the ring and then the, the, the easy coming out of breathing. So that's Wing Chun. That is the basic of it. Okay. Now, this part one of training is actually if in the H model in the Wing Chun Inception book. That is belongs to the uh, to the zone one, to the zone one, the heart rate zone one, where you uh, warm up, cool down your Sing Chi, your two C state, and zone two where you handle your seven bowls. See your bowls, your joints, right? So that's what it is, that's part one. So now you know exactly what the heck they are doing. That is the first part. That's, that's why in uh, in each model, you see it is in here. And then, you know, the next part I'm going to share with you here, and the next part will share with you on here. So there are three parts you see exactly what it is in today's term. And because you know today's terms, you can practice it very scientifically. Not, not like, uh, hey, you know, you have to follow Hendrik. Well, why do you want to follow me? You know already the bottom line is you cannot breathe. You, according to Salim soft strike teaching, we are not go out teaching. You cannot even walk. You couldn't even have your, your foot work. Uh, you couldn't even have your strength. For the, you don't have the warm up, you don't have the stretching. You, you have no idea on your body and your joints. So, that is the bottom line. Okay, and sure, you know, Wing Chun do it differently because like Wing Chun have the Wing Chun sets. Like the Wing Chun sets is different than Hong Ga sets. Why? Is because we all do the same thing. Hong Ga do this too. Wing Chun do this too. Chua Lefa do this too, but we do it differently. And in today's science, we know what it is. this is for. And we know it fit into scientifically research today and it's proven that this is the thing is needed in sports. Okay? Now, so today I like to share with you one more thing. When we talk about Xiu Lin Tao, everybody is saying today, you know, most people say, well, little idea, idea. Well, it is not idea. We know it in the 1850s okay so in the 1960 version whatever you want to call it philosophy you know that is not my 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 uh, my, my topic my topic is in 1850s like in the Wing Chun Inceptions here it say that practice instruction I must track hands hand must track heart or mind hand issue from heart the details of the mind body synchronization has to be meticulous we know today we know today scientifically when we do a workout your strength practice or so forth you always have to pay attention to that part scientifically we can prove okay and that is also a term okay a term like a neuro or something okay uh, where, where today's science already know that you need to be proficient in that. Okay, so in the uh, simple language is there is a feedback loop. Your mind to your physical, your physical back to your mind. It's a feedback loop. Okay, so so uh. I try to find the term for you here, okay, but uh, well, I, 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 okay, one, give me, give me one second, okay. 
see if I can if I can find it okay because this is important okay we don't want to live in a in, in cave so okay the term is neuromuscular proficiency <coughs> or neuromuscular neuromuscular Okay, so it's neuromuscular. So it means that your mind and your body has to work together. And that is what actually does in the uh, 1850s, uh, the instructions say, I must track hands, hand must track heart or mind, okay? Hand issue from heart or mind, details of mind, body synchronization has to be meticulous. Now we know about this neuromuscular stuff, okay? So, in fact, in the 1850s uh, shooting Tao practice on the writing, we know there are three, uh, three areas where the mind has to track in order to get this feedback and to work on whatever the skill or the bio, uh, body mechanics. So, the first is one need to pay attention to the breathing. If you don't pay attention to the breathing, you don't know your breathing. Okay, and then one have to pay attention to the warm up, meaning that you have to pay attention to your heart rate, like the sport people today, the checking of the heart rate. Stretching is uh, paying attention to the joint range of the motion. You need to pay attention to the seven bowls. So there's the first part. Okay, so the mind has to pay attention to all this part. If you don't, you cannot develop it. It's scientific. Okay? So as in this strength, the people who work on the strength and so forth, they are uh, neuromuscular stuff. Okay? Now, the second part of the video I want to share with you is on the force and strength. Force usually is Fa Jing. Uh, strength. Strength is actually supporting of force. You be able to farching doesn't mean that you have a, a, a really a big strength. And that lump into your cardio exercise and your your, your strength, your endurance, your power. That is the second part, which is uh, next time I'm going to share with you when I got time to make that video. So again, your mind has to be knowing your 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 force, how you generate those things, and then your strength. Okay. And of course, it will to your uh, cardio and endurance. Now, the third part will be your mind has to be mindful with your impulse momentum. Or else you have no idea on how to handle the impulse momentum. Okay? So in Xiu Lim Tao, 1850, you have these three things. Meaning your mind has to pay attention to, attentive to these three things. These three parts of these all these details. You look at today's. This thing is what the, the part one, whatever I share in the part one is in a term popular today named what? Qi Gong for help. That's what it is. The second part is half of it on the four stuff is Fa Jing stuff. The strength stuff is all this endurance and all this stuff. So if you just have the Qi Gong and some Fa Jing stuff, you don't have the endurance training, good luck. So it's like the Lei Lei who fight the uh, Xi Xiao Dong three years ago. You can have all this warm up and, uh, and, and stretching. Even if you know it all and you know the farging, but you have no idea on the strength and stamina stuff, you're going to lose. And of course, your strength and so forth will come your isotonic, isometrics, and all those training. Okay? 
which is the next I'm going to share with you. And then, even if you have the strength and the force, and all this qi gong, if you don't have the impulse momentum handling, you're going to lose. Why? Because impulse momentum is dynamic moving of your body. Nobody going to stand there pushing hand with you. Impulse momentum, momentum, impulse momentum is all dealing with your your accelerations, speed and time. Okay? So you have these three parts. Now go back to this. Why most traditional Chinese martial art, the magic technique, the magic fudging, the the the, the magic whatever never can compete with the modern martial art? Because the modern martial art, even though it doesn't get into in depth of the qi gong style or the fa jing whatever, they have the full training. Look at the Western boxer. Let's like look at the uh the, the let's say our 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 uh, our hero Mike Tyson. Look at does he have all this? Does he do cardio and endurance training? Does he do warm up and stretching? Does it do all those kinds of impulse momentum handling? They do. Look at Mike Tyson or even the uh, 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 a formal or uh, yeah a formal uh, uh, trained boxer or those formal a uh, Thai boxer or Kyokushin. Did they have all this? They have all this. The traditional Chinese martial art guy has this. Go look around. If you don't have this, how the world are you going to fight them? We don't even talk about techniques yet. We just talk about the basic biomechanics or body mechanics. Okay? So this is to share with you. Okay? Uh, yeah, next time when, I, when I'm... Uh, I have some free, I just uh, make another video, so it's like the part one shot, but to the point, okay? And after that, you know what it is, you can even use today's tools to train it. Why not? I might have to wear dress like uh, in the Red Boat 1850s. I don't, I wear this t-shirt, right? So, so, so... The bottom line of these three parts is to let you know what it is. So we all Wing Chuners know what it is. And overnight, because we know what it is, we can change. And you know, you look at the Wing Chun. There are, there are millions of people. Oh, you say, no, 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 millions. Okay, about 10, 20 thousands of people. You have a lot of talented people there. So why, why do we need to uh, withhold all these informations and get everybody into this and, and, and not to let all these good people, talented young people, take off, be a star of tomorrow. And by that doing that, that means your Wing Chun will evolve and getting better. You withhold all this thing, you don't have Wing Chun life. Because at the end, you don't have this, guess what? You're going to take all this from Western boxing and then you label it STEM, Wing Chun. Is that Wing Chun? Come on, the historian will know. Okay, You copy somebody's, put your own name on that, and then you call it Wing Chun. Is this not Wing Chun? So this is to share with you today and if you like to watch that, uh, that that three part to get all this signed up so that you won't miss them okay I'm busy this week so uh, when I'm less busy I'm gonna make that that, that video okay